Hello. The video you are about to see contains images of dolls only. Hello, Hello everybody. <laughs> it's great to be back. It is indeed. And do you know, I've actually got a voice today. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? I wonder what was going to happen uh, earlier on in the week. Oh, because, dear, uh, it was dear, going... dear. It took its time about getting back to normal, didn't it? Yes, it did, yes. But here we are. Here we are. I hope you've all had a lovely week. And uh, look who I've got. Now, just a few minutes ago, you said, move up, handsome. And I wasn't sure whether you meant me. <coughs> I was kind of hoping you did, but you didn't. Uh, I actually meant this little chap. That's right. We've got Bert, for anyone who can't see. Uh, I have got Bert. These chinos are a bit short on you, Bert. You're showing a bit of leg. Oh. <laughs> Bert is wearing Armani today. He's wearing his lovely beige Armani chinos. And he's wearing a navy... I think it's a navy and white polo shirt, if I remember rightly. Navy with grey on. Navy with grey. Navy with grey. Thank you, Ria. And his nice Armani navy sandals. So he's all in Armani today. And um, he's just had his hair done and he's just looking gorgeous. And he came out with me this morning. And it was all lovely, except there was a wasp got on my bag and he died. I nearly dropped him. It was... Amanda said to me, oh, hang on a minute, Lou, there's a wasp. And when I heard the word wasp, I went, oh, ah! she said, there's a wasp on you. Ah! Ah! And I jumped out of my skin. And um, I just about managed to hold on to Bert, but I was terrified. And she, luckily, it, it didn't come anywhere well, close. I absolutely don't blame you for that. Oh, dear, oh, dear. So anyway, without further ado, we are here because we're going to do a tag. Yes, we always try and bring you something special on a Friday, mm -hmm. and we have this time. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the Reborn Baby Hope and Joys tag. Yes, this is um, your pers your perspective on Reborns, isn't it? Uh, it doesn't actually say it, that. Yeah, well, here. it is. I'm pretty sure this, this is what it's called, your right. perspective on Reborns. And it's okay. a very interesting one. Mm. Mm -hmm. Should I start so then? So you start. All right, then. And if you need to butt in when I answer the questions, please, please feel free. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> so question one, do you have any Reborns that look like you? Now, it's really funny because my mum is always telling me this or that or the other baby looks like me. I think most of the babies I have, she says, look like me. But I know in particular that she thinks that Lacey looks exactly like I looked when I was little. Isn't that cool? Because she says that Lacey's face has a is a lot like mine when I was little. And my hair was blonde when I was small. Um, I was actually born with white blonde hair. You can't believe it now because I'm so, when I'm, where I'm not pink, I'm so dark. Um, but she says my hair was white blonde when I was little and I was blonde all through my prepubescent years. And I only started to go dark when I hit puberty. In fact, I can remember, <laughs> I can remember having peroxide put on my hair when I started to go mouncy because we both hated it so much. I hated not being blonde anymore. And my mum hated the way my hair looked because it kind of, it didn't go light brown. It just went a horrible, colourless, dirty colour. It did never look quite clean. Mm. Um, so a couple of times we put peroxide on it to, to lighten <laughs> it. Um, but we stopped doing that because it wasn't, it wasn't good for my hair. It was drying it out. So we only did it a couple of times. But... Um, yeah, it went mousy brown and then it went darker brown. By the time I was in my 20s, it was a kind of a rich brown colour, medium sort of rich brown. And I hate being a brunette. I hate it, which is why the pink. Mm. <laughs> but uh, someone said that uh, one of the babies looked like me, didn't Yes, they? Lake looks Lake. like you. Yes. Lake looks like you. Um, Ellie knew that Lake was going to be very much your baby. So she chose a kit that had a real look of you. So yeah, Lake looks very much like you. That is so cool. Did she tell you that? Yeah, uh, n um, I can vaguely remember her saying that she would choose a kit that had a look of you. Oh, well, and that's when strange. she chose uh, Michelle Fagan and Charlotte, she said it has a look of Brian. Oh, uh, right. and then somebody um, remarked in the comments yes. that, that Lake would be seeing her later in the week. So um, 
she, she somebody said and I can't remember who it was now. No, but I do remember it. Yeah. And that's that how I knew about it. They said, it. you know, Lake really looks like Mr B. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, what was your biggest mistake, if any, in purchasing a Reborn? That's a hard one. Um, I think my only real mistake uh, was, and it, you know, it was an understandable one. I bought a, a cheap Reborn, a very, very, very cheap Reborn once because I was so desperate to have a baby for Christmas one year. I, I really wanted a, a new baby, it had been a while since I had one, and I really wanted a baby for Christmas, and we didn't have very much money. So um, I got a very cheap Reborn for Christmas, and he was a nice little boy, but he had been, um, you know, he, he had had shortcuts taken with him, he had pluggy hair, and he had scrunchy beads, and you know the painting wasn't brilliant mm. but when i rehomed i didn't take anything for him when i rehomed him i rehomed him and his new mummy loved him so that i think that was the only real mistake i made oh, but again it turned into a positive didn't it, it turned into a positive and i did you know i did love him for as long as i had him but i could you know when he was with my other ones you could see that he was a you know he he wasn't as good a baby mm. and you know, I, I could see, I could, and what was more important, I could feel it, you know, I could feel it. And that's why I couldn't bond with him properly. Yes. Little Ben, bless him. Yes, I remember him. Yeah. Yes. Do you watch TV, eat, or walk around holding your reborn? Watch TV, um, well, yes, I suppose I do, because I watch films on the computer yes. and stuff. I was going to say, we don't actually have a TV. No, we don't. Not, not because we are visually impaired no that's not the reason that's not the reason it's because we don't actually watch television um per se we don't have the time we work so much of the time mm. when um, i first moved in here i was desperate for a tv wasn't i we were and we bought oh, one we did get one and we ne it never got watched no. it sat on the desk for in fact years yeah before i said finally look no one's watching this tv mm. do, do we have to have it it's taking up space um, but we do still have a TV license yes, because yes. we watch TV from our computers now and again when we have the time. Uh, and we watch a lot of films and things that we get from um, places that have audio description like Netflix and iTunes. And um, yeah, so yeah, I, I hold the Reborns, particularly uh, when I'm having an ill night with my bones and I've yes. had three of those this week. I was going to say it's happened quite a bit this week. Yeah, You've been had, watching old movies. Yeah, I've been watching oh, I've watched some great old movies this week. So I've what uh, uh, I've particular Bert sits up with me on nights when I can't move to the shelves to get anybody. He's always here on the sofa. So I hold him when I'm watching or I at least hold his hand or his arm if I can't pick anyone up. I'm always have a reborn with me when I'm watching a, a film. Um, eating, no, I never ever eat near the reborns no. because I wouldn't want to get anything on them. Um, walking around, yes, definitely, and of mm. course I never go out without a baby ever. That's right. And Bert likes the odd old movie or two. Oh, Bert loves old movies. Yes, he's, he's told a real me softy, that. aren't you? <laughs> I won't tell you what you did at the end of um, oh, which one was it? Uh, Casablanca. Ah. Shall I tell everyone what you did? Shall I? Shall I? Yes, you went boo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, didn't you? Ah. We'll always have Paris. Boo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, he went. Ah. Yes, he did. <laughs> it's a good one. It's, it's a, a lovely real classic, one. Isn't yeah. It? yeah. We hadn't seen it for... A, well, Bird had never seen it. I'd seen it once, but a long time ago. And we were watching that one of the nights when you were sitting up with me, weren't we, babe? Mm. And he was absolutely riveted because we'd never seen it. He'd never seen it before. So, yeah, you were riveted, weren't you? Oh, great. Well <laughs> done for that. How many reborns do you have and how many would you like to have? I have 27 at this moment. And I know that's an awful lot. I'm, I've listened to some of these tag answers and some people have 10 and they think they have too many. <laughs> ah, you, you have seen some videos with this tag. Oh, yes, you? lots of them. Right. This is actually a couple of weeks old, this tag, at least. Yes, because we were going to do it last week. We were going week. to do it last week. Um, so, yes, I have 27. And um, 
how many would I like to have? Ooh, I don't know. Um, I've heard of someone who has a thousand. I don't think I could have a thousand. Seriously? Yes, yeah, seriously. Someone in America has a thousand. Um, I don't think I'd have that many, but no. I, if I had a hundred, it wouldn't hurt me. Right. It, it wouldn't bother me none, as the Americans say. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> I think we come back to that very subject, actually, in the comment roundup coming mm -hmm. up later on in the week. So stand by for that. Okay. How do you decide on a reborn's name? Well, there's a couple of ways, isn't there, that ha where it has happened. Mm hmm two ways um first of all if i hear a pretty name in a book or um on tv or anywhere i hear a pretty name i will say to be his pretty name i heard a pretty name you know that's a pretty name can we can we appropriate it can we <laughs> use it one day um if i get it past b then it goes on the list of names for babies that we might use one day and if not, then it gets junked mm. because now this is, this is, might be called slightly unfair, but B has twice asked me, no, three times asked me for, can we call a baby this? Twice I've said yes. Once I've said no, I couldn't stand that at any price. Lake and Libet, we've both had because I've got used to both of those. He asked me for Freya. I, I'm, I'm sorry, no offense to any baby Freyas or child Freyas or adult Freyas out there, but that isn't a name I like. Um, she was a Nordic goddess. And also it just reminds me of the, 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 the word fray, you know, where something gets frayed and worn out. And I just, it, I don't know why, I don't like the sound of it. And I know that I couldn't get used to a baby called that. So no, I, I wouldn't, that isn't a name I could have. It's just personal. You know, taste. But we settled but for a middle name. Middle name Freya. Mm. That I can I could do. But yeah, um Lake and Libet. I Libet was a strange well, they're both strange ones for me to get used to, but I've got used to both of those. But you see, if B doesn't like a name, he won't like the baby. I've got used to them and I've liked the babies anyway. I can always love a baby, whatever its name is, usually. Um, within reason. But if B doesn't like a name, he, he, he won't get attached to the baby. I know him. And that's very sad. So if, if he doesn't like a name, um, I can't use it. For example, I heard a sweet name on a baby birthing program documentary I was watching. And they called the little girl Blessing. And I thought that was really, really sweet. In fact, I think there is a baby Blessing somewhere on YouTube. I don't know where. But I've heard, I've, Nicole told me that there was. Um, and I just thought that was just such a sweet name. And I really wanted a baby blessing, but B doesn't like it. <laughs> um, the other way, if I have a pretty name anywhere, that's one way. Um, another way, and I do this more with middle names, is if um, sometimes first names, but more often middle names, if there is a name of someone that's been kind to me or someone that's been a friend to me on YouTube or one of our subscribers that's often commented or one of the YouTube ladies that's taught me a lot or been a good friend to me or someone that means something to me in some way, then I'll use it for a baby name. Appropriate enough, Ruby June. Ruby June, Ruby June. They're both YouTube ladies. Yes, we should mention that one given yeah. that we're doing June's chat. Definitely, Ruby yeah. June, yeah. What is the first thing that you do after adopting a reborn? First thing I do after adopt, I sit here absolutely quietly and hold him or her for a while. I like to just hold him, her, examine the baby or the toddler or the child, just take time because I can't see the baby I have to feel so I want to just take time to get used to the feeling of the baby in my lap in my arms I want to give my hands a chance to find all the little details its hands its feet its arms its legs its little thigh rolls its arm rolls all the little details and I just want to connect with it 
you know, if the bond hasn't been absolutely instant, which sometimes it is, and even if it has, I just want to have the time to get the get the love flowing. So I like to sit and hold the baby and just revel in that huge sort of rush of joy. Um, it's a very special moment and I like to have it in absolutely perfect calm and quiet and it needs to be there because it needs to make that bond perfect and, and strong and if I can't do it I'll wait till I can I won't open the baby until I know that I've got time so that I can sit and be with the baby and get that the bond established properly mm. Okay, good answer. Would you say you have a full wardrobe of reborn clothes? <laughs> <laughs> and do they still have tags on them? No, I detag everything. Um, I have to, you know, because obviously I, I want to use them and I don't keep tags on. Tags come off straight away. Mm. Yes, I have a fairly full wardrobe of, uh, of reborn clothes, but having said that, Space is very limited. I have a lot of reborns, all sizes, from newborn to uh, 18, as uh, well, from reborn to six to seven years. And they cannot have that many clothes each. Otherwise, I would need a huge house and several wardrobes if I kept everything I bought them. Um, and I do need to buy them. As I said, I dress them from usually nutmeg these days because nutmeg is a good make and it's good prices and they're lovely things so um except for this little one here who gets dressed in designer clothes um i dress everyone else from usually nutmeg um but i have to be fairly ruthless if they've not worn something for a while then it goes to charity and i, ha I make sure they all have a few outfits each but um, you know, after, but apart from that, I really can't let it build up too much or there just wouldn't be anywhere to put it. Mm. Well, we've we're on to question number eight. You're, you're doing well so far, isn't she, everybody? She's got <laughs> full marks. Okay. Would you rather shop for your reborn or yourself? Oh, my reborn. Definitely. I'm useless at shopping for myself. Um, I haven't had any new clothes in about three years. Um, I just... <laughs> To, to be honest, when I'm in the house, I wear what you see me in now, my kaftan, or I wear my robe if I'm ill. Um, and I only wear proper clothes to go out in, so I don't have that many of them. And I very rarely buy new things for myself. So I, but I baby shop every week without fail. Every yes, single you do. week. Every Friday. You every do. Friday. Yes, I, and I buy that's more online as more well. More online. I buy something for the babies all the time. Mm. So I shop for the reborns all the time, all the time. And I love it. It's, my, it, it's part of my life. It's a big part of my life. I my think, babies are my life. I think I've been uh, and, and shopped for clothes for myself probably more recently than I you. I think you have. I yeah. think you have. You <laughs> shop more for your clothes than I do. <laughs> Is it just a hobby or are you very emotionally attached to your reborns? I'm extremely emotionally attached. My reborns, you know, obviously there's B, he's real. He's always going to be the most important part of my life. He's my world. Um, that goes, should go without saying. Um, and I'm infinitely grateful always that and I never expected this to happen, that he's sharing this world with me, not just supporting me. There's a big difference. And, you know, for those husbands and men that support their partners in the hobby and don't sneer at them and don't just say, oh, well, you get on with it then. You know, I don't want anything to do with it. Um, that for those that are supportive and nice about it, that's just the most wonderful thing. But this isn't what B does he is a proper reborn dad and he will do stuff with the babies and he will help me shop with the babies and he helps me do this and it's just the most amazing thing so Mr B is the most he's the center of my world but after that then there are the babies and there are family 
they're more than just the reborns. There are family, aren't they, Bea? That's right. They That's really, right. really are. It's especially true of, of Bert and Lacey. Mr. B gets very kind of uptight if he sees trolling and stuff about Lacey online, and I get very uptight too. And so it's it's a very it's a very emotional thing. You get very sensitive about it. So yeah, it's they're... surprising how much you do really when you see something like that where um, someone has said something really uh, awful about them. Yes, I think it surprised you, didn't it? Mr. It really B? did. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, definitely we've answered that one. <laughs> While shopping, do you ever look at a baby in a stroller and wonder? if it's real or fake well obviously we can't see babies say. in strollers mm. so no we never do um when we unfortunately when we're shopping we're, it's when you can't see it's pretty single-minded you um you just go on your merry way and do what you have to get done and unfortunately that's one of the things you can't do you can't people watch and and wonder if babies are real or fake Unfortunately, what a shame. Mm -hmm. I would love it if I ever met someone out with another reborn. It would just be terrific. <laughs> and the last question, um, I don't know if you can answer this one. I don't, I don't know. A non-reborn question this is. What is the most important part of your life that you could help inspire someone? I could answer this one. Okay. Um, but it is reborn related. Okay, well, and that's good. It's very important to me. I decided way back before there was any YouTube, before there was any anything to do with being a part of a community when I was all on my own and didn't know a soul, that I was going to be absolutely open about my love for my babies um in fact it went back to 2000 and goodness 2008 when i first came here and i had my own home and i had kathy ann and tiffany my lee middleton dolls and then i began to get more and i would talk about them i would show them to people and then later on when i began to get my reborns and i didn't have any friends at all in those days who knew about reborns so I would talk about them on Twitter and Facebook and I would go out with them occasionally and do things with them. And I just, even though I didn't know a thing about the YouTube community very much at all, I saw the odd video, but I didn't know much and I certainly wasn't part of it. I did know that there was a huge feeling against Reborns in the press because I'd been reading articles. And I just felt that this was so wrong. And I was, t I was told by lots of my blind friends, oh, I'd love to have a doll like yours. I'd love to have a baby like that. I, it would help me so much. And you know, some of the people that approached me about this were men. And they said, um, I'm unable to have kids at all. I'll never get married. I'll never have kids of my own because of issues health issues whatever issues you know and it really breaks my heart and i would love to have a reborn but you know however could i how could i what would people say i live with my parents what would they say and i thought look we only have one life we only walk this road once i personally do not give i don't care what people it doesn't make any difference without hurting anybody what people say in the long run you have to do what makes you happy if you don't hurt anybody so i'm going to go out there i'm going to be open in my own way without being impolite and without hurting anybody and i'm going to be open about what's making me happy and what's filled that great big empty hole that i was talking about last year so i was open to my blind friends and the people i knew and I told them about my babies and where I got them and helped anyone who wanted one to get one. And then, of course, I, I, got, to, I got talked about by some people who put the Press Association in, in touch with me, which was why I got put in a magazine article. And then <laughs> the Daily Mail online, God bless them, uh, stole the article 
and misquoted it all over the papers and it went viral which is how I ended up on this morning which for those who don't know is a UK morning chat show um, which actually did some real good because it was gave me the chance to put the record straight mm. <laughs> because I was very 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 misquoted in the Daily Mail and through that I got to know a huge amount of people who found me on Facebook and made friends with me and from having no reborn friends I had loads of reborn friends um, and that was the start of sort of knowing a lot more about things and started my being interested in YouTube and all that but I still in my own small way go out there and fight the good fight and will never be ashamed of taking a baby out with me and I still ask give help to anyone who asks for it and won't hide the babies because they embarrass somebody because the more people can look people always fear the unknown don't they be oh they do have said that on youtube before it, it, it the fear of the unknown is 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 what it's about but we don't hide any of the babies if anyone comes here they see them right away don't they yes they see them they also see we have a life-size doll here a full life-size doll and they see her too and she's just part of our life too we don't hide anything from anybody and we never will and you know that's just our life and that's just who we are so I mean people tell me I'm an inspiration for lots of reasons because I keep going on when I'm blind because I keep going on when I'm getting ill blah 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 and I who am I to tell anybody what they can be inspired by but if I've inspired anyone who wanted a baby but didn't dare have one a reborn baby I mean but didn't dare have one because of what people would say and they saw the way that we are Mr B and I are and they decided hey I can be like that too I'm going to be like that too in my own small way and they went ahead and did it and it's made them what's more most important is that it's brought them love and it's brought them joy and it's brought them a measure of happiness and peace then that is what I'll be proud to have inspired somebody with really really proud well I think that's been a great tag <laughs> and uh, thank you very much it's a pleasure um i was more thanking thank, june. thank you thank you june yes um for uh letting everybody comment on that definitely I think it's been it's really a great good. tag really great and thank you bert yes for sitting on my lap while i yitter yattered <laughs> <laughs> he's used to it he's used to it yeah i know <laughs> So we're going to be back tomorrow with somebody else who's going to yitter yatta instead of me. Oh yes, because yes. our Lacey Lou's coming tomorrow, and she's, she's had a very some... interesting week. She this has week. had a very interesting week, mm. and you've had a very interesting week with somebody who's scared of a certain kind of animal. You'll hear all about that tomorrow from Lacey. We will. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll see you tomorrow. In take care of yourselves and enjoy your babies, and, and let's, let's be, be good, good to, to each, each other. other. Bye-bye.